doing guys? So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to be installing a keel guard on the bottom of the boat. Uh, you may have noticed when I painted it I left a little bit of blue section there. That's because I got to clean that up and make a space for the um, keel guard to adhere to. So the place where I launched the boat doesn't have a dock so um, you know I'm going to be running it up on the shore and I don't want to keep scratching up the bottom and, and wearing out the fiberglass. So this is going to help protect that and uh, it's a pretty simple install it just takes a little bit of time but um, i'll show you what the kit came with what i got and uh, how we're going to do it so this is the kit um, it's made by megaware um, keel guard and um, the one i got is black you can get them in different colors um, it comes with the the actual part and then you have um, the primer It'll give you a scrub pad and a a putty knife to, to basically press down on it. I'm going to use something else. Um, they give you a glove and you just need some paper towels and either some acetone or some um, just regular alcohol that you can wipe it down and clean it up before you put it on. Alright so the keel guard itself is this piece here okay and it has um, three different tape sections. You're going to peel off the middle one and apply it right down the center. I got it laid out here on my truck bed just to um, flatten it down because it comes all rolled up and it, you know, when the, the ends are like curled up. So this way here, it's been kind of warming up in the sun, nice and flexible. Um, so we'll show you how that's done. All right. All right, so the first thing I got to do is I got to mark where this is going to go just so I know what area I have to clean up. And the way I'm going to do this, some people will lay it up on there and tape it all up and, you know, I'm just going to do it a different way. So I basically got a piece of cardboard, it's got a hole in here, I cut it to the exact width of the, um, the actual keel guard. So this way I can basically put it on here like this, keep it all centered, and then I can just mark where it's going to go. Okay, so I'm going to run a mark all the way down uh, as far as it's going to go, and then we can get cleaned up the areas that we need to prep. Okay, so now I have a line traced out uh, where it is I need to clean. So I'm going to go ahead and um, probably going to use my little power sander um, just to scuff this all up. And I want to run it up to about here. The water lines down here, they want you to go maybe six inches above the water line. So I'll, I'll probably stop it up around here. This way it's not interfering with the, uh, the, the uh, trailer also. Okay, so let me get that prepped up. Okay, so I'm going to use my uh, Milwaukee angle sander. Uh, they tell you don't use anything greater than like 150 grit. This one's 120, so I think that'll be fine. Uh, and basically we're just going to get this all scuffed up now. Okay, so let me get this all scuffed and then uh, we'll get it cleaned and prepped and ready. Okay, so at this point I have it all sanded down and I just wiped everything down with acetone. Got it nice and clean so nothing, nothing on there. Alright, so what we got to do is start with the middle strip and just peel a little bit of it. Okay, and we got to place it on center, make sure we're right where we want to be. Okay, now this uses pressure to adhere to it. So they give you a little scraper, but I'm going to use this big heavy roller I got. Alright, so now we just got to kind of follow where it's going to go.
So once this is on there, it's on there, so just make sure it's where you want it. I guess the trickiest part is just trying to get it centered first. Okay, once you got the middle done, then you're going to peel one of the sides. Same deal, just a little bit. Now what you want to do is go from the inside towards the out. And this will eliminate any bubbles that may form. Okay, and for just a little bit of extra added measure, once it's on and it's all pressed in good, I'm just going to run a little bead of some uh, marine sealant right along this edge here. Just this way, the water is going to get up under there. So Okay, I'm just going to run a bead in the back, and then I'll finish painting the uh, black underneath, and then we're going to be good to go. Okay, now that that's all set, let's go ahead and take our bottom paint, and we're just going to go ahead and touch up the areas that we left bare.
All right, and there we have it. So now we have the keel guard on there. The bottom's all nice and protected. I got the, uh, the paint touched up, and uh, I just got to finish cleaning up a little bit, you know, like around here. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So um, now we'll have some protection when we're pulling up on the shore. I won't have to worry about digging up the, the bottom of the hull. So if that's something you guys are interested in, um, you know, it's not that bad a job. The worst part is just the prep like anything else. It's always the prep work that, that's a pain in the butt. Um, and then you just, you know, line it up, stick it on, make sure you put a lot of pressure on it, get it to stick on there good. Um, I opted to seal the ends off just to make sure some water didn't get up under there. And uh, when I put the, uh, the bottom paint also right on the edge, I ran some of the bottom paint right on the very edge of that too that way it would kind of fill in any little gap there but there wasn't really any gap but just to be a safe side so that's about it all right another thing off the list um i have a, a set of um, hydrofoils i'm going to put on the engine that'll be another video uh it's not a big deal but that'll definitely help out so uh, that's about it for now guys uh if you like the video give a thumbs up give a like give a share and as usual i'll catch you on the next one